this week at Upper Room. Join us as we partake of the communion and feet washing ordinances to be held this evening at 6 p.m. Elders and missionaries are asked to adorn in the appropriate attire. The Upper Room Women's Department is excited to host a Community Day event to be held Saturday, August 12th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Activities will include a flea market sale for women, men, and children, a back-to-school giveaway, exciting entertainment for the kids, free hot dogs, and more. There will also be health and fitness checks and tips, plus our food bank will be open and ready to be a blessing. This is a family affair for the church and the community, so mark your calendars and help us make a great impact on our area. If you are interested in renting a space to sell your own yard sale items or would like to become a sponsor, send an email to URSisters at POWooden.org for pricing and additional details. Additionally, the Upper Room Women's Ministry is now collecting school supplies through Thursday, August 10th for the Community Day event. Please come to the Women's Ministry table located in the vestibule to drop off supplies. For more information, please see Arquetta Lindsay or send an email to URSisters at POWooden.org. Join Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., First Lady Pamela Wooden, and the Upper Room Church of God in Christ family as we commemorate our 43rd church anniversary on Sunday, August 13th at 11 a.m. All married couples are invited to join Bishop and First Lady Wooden for the summer cookout to be held Saturday, August 19th at 4 p.m. Meet us at the Rise Charter School Field beside the church for great food, couples relay races, a softball game, a bake-off contest, and much more. The cost is $40 per couple. Please visit the registration tables to sign up. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. If you are in or visiting the Raleigh area and looking for an opportunity to gather with the saints for a God first experience, the Upper Room is pleased to offer two services every Sunday morning. Join us at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. for Sunday worship service in the sanctuary. You can also join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. Thank you to our viewers throughout the United States and abroad for your weekly support of our broadcast. Ladies, be sure to make time to join the weekly women's ministry prayer call held every Thursday from noon to 1230 p.m. Join First Lady Pamela Wooden and the women as they stop and pray at noonday. Prayer requests can be sent to URSisters at POWooden.org. Please be reminded there are several ways to give to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. For online giving, please visit easytithe.com forward slash URC. Also, please use only one email address for each Easy Tithe account so we can properly track your giving. Within Easy Tithe, you can now initiate the Recur option, which allows you to select a designated amount to be automatically deducted from your account. You may also visit our website, upperroomgospel.org, and select the Giving tab. Or you can mail your gift to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina, 27529. As always, thank you very much for supporting the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Be sure to save the date for the 36th pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. to be held Sunday, September 17th. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ is pleased to celebrate the high school graduating class of 2023. Please hold your applause until all names have been read. Chloe Adams graduated from Ravenscroft School. She was an NC Youth and Government Ravenscroft Delegation Executive Board Member, a 2021 Youth and Government Mock Trial Champion and Legislative Oversight Committee Chair, and a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Leadership Team. She also received the National African American Recognition Award, was part of the National Honor Society, the National Spanish Honor Society, the Quill and Scroll Media Honor Society, was on the Academic Honor Roll, and is the founder of Ravenscroft Frederick Douglass Society. She will attend Wake Forest University on a full scholarship to study computer science on the pre-law track. Joshua Albert graduated from Tenaha High School in Tenaha, Texas. He was on the AB Honor Roll, earned an unmanned aircraft system certification, and was second team all district in basketball. He will attend Laterno Christian University in Longview, Texas, pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree in aviation studies. Jacob Brooks graduated from Heritage High School. He was on the AB Honor Roll and a member of the conference co-champion football team. 
he will attend North Carolina A&T State University and major in landscape architecture. Jaden Brooks graduated from Heritage High School. He was on the AB Honor Roll, and in the fall, he will attend North Carolina A&T State University. Naomi Kolela graduated from Athens Drive Magnet High School. She is a STEM Academy graduate, a member of the National Honor Society, a four-year member of the Athens Drive High School Vocal Ensemble, and finished with a 4.0 plus GPA. She will attend Wake Technical Community College for an associate's degree in the Medical Laboratory Technology Program and then transfer to North Carolina State University to continue studies in clinical research. Ava Lester III graduated from South Garner High School. He was a 4A Conference Defensive Lineman of the Year in 2022 and also all conference during the same season. He is also a member of the Upper Room Media Team. He will be playing football for St. Augustine's University on a scholarship and major in engineering. Kai Scott graduated from Roseville High School. He will attend the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Leilani Sharp graduated from Roseville High School. She was a member of the Raleigh Digital Connectors program, finished in the top 10 of her senior class with a 4.45 GPA and also worked part-time at Chick-fil-A. She will attend Wake Forest University and major in political science with a minor in economics. Dana Shepard graduated from Fuqua Verena High School. She was recognized for her writing skills and excelled in composing short stories. She plans to obtain numerous certifications and ultimately seeks a career working with children, preferably at Wake Tech. Olivia Temple graduated from Apex High School. She was in the marching band, a member of the National Honor Society, completed numeric AP and honors classes, is a World War I and Central Asia expert, and finished with a 4.2 GPA. She will attend North Carolina State University and major in international relations and history. Upper Room, please stand to your feet and let's celebrate our high school graduating class of 2023.